first things first the parties execute a definitive agreement to go ahead with the foreign investment the investor invariably conducts a due diligence over the affairs of the indian company and indian partners does this happen before or after the term sheet after the term sheet before they go in for the definitive agreement thereafter parties uh, agree on a framework for their respective investments and then uh, the foreign investor or the indian company goes in for the government approval the government approval is uh, set as a condition precedent the actual investment happens only after the government approval is in place if the project requires government approval the investor sends remittance to the indian entity be it company or llp the indian entity files a notification with its authorized dealer the bank of having received the foreign investment thereafter it issues the securities against the amount received from the foreign investor and then informs the authorized dealer the bank about having issued the securities it also informs the ministry of corporate affairs by way of this return of allotment that these uh, securities have been issued to the foreign investor well any a joint venture agreement or shareholders agreement specifying the uh, respective rights and obligations of the parties need to incorporate a provision that anything stipulated in the government approval will form a part of this agreement and all the terms and conditions laid out in any government approval shall be adhered to you can have a definitive agreement but the consummation of uh, transactions contemplated therein is always subject to the government approval there is no uh, obligation on parties to comply with their uh, respective obligations unless this government approval is uh, received